Okay, number 13 says, which expression is equivalent to 2x squared plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4? Hopefully you notice that what we have here is multiplication, a binomial times a binomial. So rather than do this mentally, um, I would, on my piece of scratch paper, if I was taking this test, I would write this down. And then I would FOIL, right? Find the four products, the first, the outer, the inner, and the last. So my first product, 2x squared times x, is 2x cubed. The outer product, 2x squared times 4, that's 8x squared. The inner product is a positive 3 times x, positive 3x. The last product is positive 3 times 4, that's positive 12. And so it's that simple. Uh, that choice is listed right here as choice D, and that is the one that you should select for question number 13. Let me look at 14 real quick. We can look at 14 also. Um, it says one buys peaches and grapefruit at the store. He writes the equations shown to model the relationship between the number of pounds of peaches, that's P, and the number of pounds of grapefruit, that's G. And so we can see that he buys P pounds of peaches and G pounds of grapefruit. Then that's a total of 2.5 pounds. And then I would say this one is dollars, a dollar fifty-eight per pound of peaches, a dollar nine for a pound of grapefruits costs a total of three dollars and forty-six here. It says what's the total number of pounds of peaches and grapefruit? Now, you could solve this as a system of equations, but since all they asked is the total number of pounds of peaches and grapefruits, okay, because that's the question. This is the answer. The pounds of peaches plus pounds of grapefruit is equal to 2.5 pounds. It is that easy. Okay, you can make this a whole lot more difficult, and I've done it the long way. Um, but the fact is, if you read the question first, you can see the answer is basically given to you if you know how to interpret those equations, right? And so, since we have p pounds of grapefruit, or, um, p pounds of peaches plus g pounds of grapefruit equals 2.5. That's the total number of pounds. Okay, in number 15, we can do this one too. Select all of the expressions that are equivalent to 9x to the fourth minus y squared. There are a lot of ways that you could do this. If you know some shortcuts, you're welcome to use those. But basically, this is evaluating your fluency with squaring. What does it mean to square something? Okay, to square something means to multiply it by itself. So let's start with the first choice. Have your scrap paper handy and write 3x squared minus y times 3x squared minus y. All right, if we do that, then I'm going to go out to the side here. My first product gives me 9x to the fourth, and then it gives me negative 3x squared times, sorry, 3x squared times negative y. That's going to give you negative 3 x squared y, and then a negative y times 3x squared gives you another minus 3x squared y. I'm just writing those in alphabetical order. And then it gives me a plus, negative y times negative y gives me a plus y squared. So this one, no. That one does not equal 9x to the fourth minus y squared. All right, in the next choice, Again, to square something means to times it by itself. So rather than do this mentally, write it on the page. 3x squared, if you square it, means to take 3x squared times 3x squared. Minus y squared. If I multiply these here, 3x squared times 3x squared is 9x to the fourth. And y times y is y squared. And so sure enough, That's good, but be careful on these select all that apply because if you select this one but not the others, you won't get any credit for this. They're just going to say you guessed and got lucky, and they're not going to give you credit for guessing on that one. So let's try the rest of these. The next one, 
we have 9 times x squared squared, that means 9 times, take x squared, times it by itself. That's what it means to take x squared and square it. Okay, multiply that expression, all of these here, with the exponent outside the parentheses. Write that expression twice. That's how you square something. And so what we end up with here is 9 times x squared times x squared, which is 9x to the fourth, minus y times y. That's y squared. And so this one is equivalent to 9x to the fourth minus y squared. Okay, the next one, again, if I'm squaring 9x squared and I'm squaring y, that means I'm taking 9x squared times itself. And I'm taking y times itself. And so I end up with 81x to the fourth minus y squared. Um, I shouldn't have boxed that, though, because that is not equal to 9x to the fourth minus y squared. So that one's a no. Last one here. First product, outer product, gives me 9x to the fourth minus 3x squared y. The inner product gives me plus 3x squared y. And then positive y times negative y gives me minus y squared. And so if I take a close look, I notice that my two inner terms are opposites. And they cancel each other out. And I end up with 9x to the fourth minus y squared, which is equal to the original expression. So this is the third correct box to select. All right, so. Again, the lesson of this question is that to square something, you multiply it by itself. And on a test like this, I would write it on the paper. Okay, write that quantity that's being squared, write it on the paper twice, and then evaluate what that means instead of taking too many shortcuts.